Hello, I'm Dr. Sean Cohen. Welcome to High Efficiency Cataract Surgery. This is a 3 to 10 minute procedure, in this case 4 minutes. I'd like to walk you through the different steps. First, we begin by creating an entry point with a blade and then filling the eye with viscoelastic solution to stabilize the front eye contents. We're going to open the wound with a self-sealing incision using a 2.75 millimeter blade. We'll then peel away the front of the capsule of the lens which is a capsule that surrounds the whole lens, which is shaped like an, more like a Smartie or an M&M candy. And we'll peel it away, usually in three re-grabbing steps. And then we'll separate the lens from its capsule using a balanced salt solution on a cannula. I like to go on the side of the lens here so that I don't block the wave from going all the way around the lens. This water separates the lens from its capsule and makes the lens freely, freely mobile inside this area. Now we'll use an ultrasound device to break the lens into several pieces, usually four. In this case I've developed a technique which involves a groove and a three-way crack using a Nagahara instrument. First we make a continuous groove, then we'll separate and then use a Nagahara to break the lens into further three pieces. We'll use a sideways phaco technique, very nice technique to use when you want to not rotate the lens in a case of pseudoxfoliation or traumatic zonular dehiscence. Here we're removing the first piece and then we'll remove the second piece the second instrument, notice, is pushing the pieces into the right orientation so that the ultrasound device always has something to work on. The second instrument is also very useful for breaking the lens pieces into smaller particles and keeping them fed into the tip of the uh, ultrasound device. It's very useful when you have the last piece to move to the epinucleus section, which is a more linear and controlled way of removing the final fragments of the lens. Now we're left with just some cortical material, which we'll remove with the irrigation and aspiration tip using a soft silicone tip. If we do this in a circumferential way, it will be more efficient. Also, we're going to use the momentum technique. Bodies at motion tend to stay at motion, so lens material that's flapping around is more likely to come to us than things that are more stationary like the posterior capsule. This rapid method of removing the capsule is safer than going after things radially. We'll then fill the remaining bag with a viscoelastic solution so that the lens can then be filled into this place and unfolded it into its position. Here we're using a folding SN60WF Acrosoft lens from Alcon Labs. You can easily use a toric lens or you could use a multifocal lens through the same type of incision. And we're going to hydrate the wound in advance so that we don't inadvertently introduce any material into the eye um, by subsequently removing all material injected into the eye with one final aspiration. So I hope this technique is useful to you and please uh, visit me on the website supereyecare.com uh, where you'll also be able to find out other materials on cataract and glaucoma surgeries. Typically this uh, procedure works best for softer lenses although it can also be used for harder lenses as well with some minor modifications. It's always useful to test your wound. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention. Thank you.